Wednesday, 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It is time for our community gardening, cooking food. And I'm out here in my sunroom because I'm going to have you be with me as I plant my little seeds. And I'm here under the flight plat uh, path of uh, training jets. I'm on a Naval Air Force base very close to me. And I'm out here intentionally so that you can hear those jets flying. Why? Because I think there's a metaphor for us. Every time those jet those jets fly over my home, it rattles. It shakes the vibration that has been here in this space. You'll hear it. Here they come. Shaking, shaking. And that's what ha is happening to us through this coronavirus. Every time we hear something new, something different, we have a new bit, bit of information, we gulp, we get shaken, and, and we're not through it yet. I've been under this flight plan for five to six years now. Spirit said, this is where you're going to be. I do quiet work. Why am I under the flight plan? And they said, it's because you do quiet work. You know energy. You know how to take those shaken frequencies, let them shake, while you hold a position, a presence of calm. Here they come again. And not just a presence, a pillar of broadcasting of calm, but literally, I can hold a formula in my mind, putting it out there into the ether system, these shaking vibrations reform to this. Reform to love. Reform to generosity. Reform to blessed benefit for all. That's our opportunity through the coronavirus. It's going to shake us. It's going to shake energies. Some will feel it more directly than others. But how can we then be the pillar going within, calm, let that vibration shake, shake, shake those solid structures of domination and greed and shake on an energy level, let them just vibrate. And you in that quiet place, because you're told to be home, in that quiet place, you sit and you just, our world reflects good. And let that be the pattern to which these vibrations then adhere. So that said, I'm going to just, because this is what I want to do this afternoon, I wanted to get some of my little seeds planted. And I'm not doing this to show you how to do it because you know how to do it. You know how to plant seeds. And I'm going to get dirt. That's what I'm getting down here. And I am just getting some potting soil. Could have done this ahead of time, but I just wanted to do this with you. Yeah, putting potting soil. And lo and behold, these new plant trays had uh, been tucked away in my storage shed because I didn't do it last year. So I didn't even have to go out and buy them. But I did buy seeds. I bought um, beets. I if you can see that, beets. I bought tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. Maybe a little bit too late here in Washington State to plant seeds. But I'm sure some of my neighbors have plants that I will be able to buy from them. Cucumbers, yes. Carrots will go directly into the ground, as will beets. And 
green beans. Yeah, that's all I'm going to worry about this year because I've, um, yeah, it's simple things. I have kale that's growing. I have berry bushes that are growing. They will give me some food. I have apples and peaches. And you know by digging in the dirt and letting those microbes within the dirt come in and speak to your immune system, yeah, it gets a healthier immune system. So not only is digging in the dirt valuable if you get plants, but it's making your own system stronger. I think through this time, what we're learning is that we're all in this together and that nature may have some answers if we just take the time and try on some new skills that increase our capacity to hear what nature has to say to us. So there's my dirt, all there. And I live um, on a piece of land. My landlord has 17 acres. And he every year, for the last, I don't know how many, maybe 10, he's planted a huge vegetable garden. He calls it the Lord's Garden. And he plants food and for the local food banks, domestic violence shelters, things like that. And if I got on his team and helped plant and weed, I could eat out of his garden. Just haven't had the time to do that. Now, here's the dirt. I'm gonna turn on the water right over here. I'm very fortunate to have this little room. It just missed, just missed the dirt. It's much more fun to do it with you than to do it alone. So every Wednesday, 4.30, hop on a Zoom call. You'll find the link over at sacredgroundcollective.org. We have something going on every day, something different. Wednesday. Right, is for garden food cooking. So there we are. I've got that in place. Now, I'm going to open up this. I don't know that I'm going to plant all of these seeds, so I might share some of these seeds with neighbors. I don't know, though. That's the problem. I'm going to need all of them. Put a seed in every one of those. This is my bean plant. I didn't do a garden last year. I was too busy doing other things. So I, I wasn't sure about this year. Coronavirus came along and I went, you know what? I think it's a good idea, even if it's just a few things. So here I am planting. And I'm assuming you might be doing the same. There's the beans, all planted. And these are heritage seeds because I want to be able to collect their seeds at the end of their growing season and uh, use them for next year. Now, here are cucumbers. And I can get both started too. Now these, there's a lot of them here. So I might put two plants, because you can plant, usually you plant cucumbers, you know, a couple, or three in each little hill, they call a hill, or we used to call it a hill. And uh, so I'm gonna plant a couple of seeds in each of these little squares, whatever these might be called. And this room, it's is south, south facing, so it gets sun, I'll have to, Monitor that a little bit, make sure it stays watered and it doesn't get too hot, I guess, while they're germinating. But see, I'm much more fun having you, even if you're only virtually here with me, it's much more fun having you with me than if I was doing this alone. One more little row. That'll be plenty. 
plenty, plenty of cucumbers. I do grow things in this little sunroom, usually, things that like heat, like here in Washington's tomatoes, you have to kind of treat them a little differently. So I usually do tomatoes in this room. Last year, I even did cucumbers up on my higher shelf that I have here let them vine across the higher shelf. And that was, that was a new experience and that did well, although they do well outside too. Basil does great in the sunroom and my herbs grow here year round. There we go. The ones I wanted to get planted are now planted. I've got some nice dirt on my hands. Yahoo! I'm gonna let that be on my hands for a bit. Um, Put some more water on this. Just misting it. Making sure the dirt's covering the seed. That's important. Now, if you were here, you, I'd take you over and let you see my neighbor's garden because his, his rows are straight. He's just really persnickety about how he does his garden and that's great. He does a, a great job. So there we are. Even have a little cap to keep it like a mini nursery. And if I find that it gets too hot and I have a temperature, and as you can see, I have a little temperature thing here. So I can monitor temperature. If it gets too hot, I'll probably take these out of the wind direct sun and maybe put them down on the lower floor so that they don't get too hot. So thanks for being with me while I started my garden this year. And I hope you join me next Wednesday, 4.30 Pacific Standard Time. Get the link by going to sacredgroundcollective.org and looking for garden, cooking, food. That's the day. And remember, when we have those planes shaking us, when we have those events shaking us, let the shaking happen. As you then go within your home, your closet, your quiet space, and hold a prayer, a meditation, a, an affirmation, a new code of what it is you are imprinting for those shaken vibrations to realign to. You have great power and blessings. Time to go.